today's tip is one of those that on the surface seems like a really minor action to take, but it can create a lot of goodwill with your audience. It's this, do a live screen share. In many of my presentations, I will make recommendations for products. It could be lights, it could be the microphone, the camera, what type of monitor to use, all of these. Well, if you've been using that kind of technology for a while, it's easy to forget that most people are still struggling with adding new technology in this virtual world. So I can make a recommendation and say, well, go to Amazon, or there's a place that I like to use called B&H. It's a B&H Electronics online, it's out of New York City. Well, I can send them there, or I can actually walk through the website, at least get them to the website. And when you do this for folks, they love it. It's like that, again, that one little extra action that most people don't do that stands out in their mind. Here's how I do that. I might say to my audience, I suggest the Logitech 4K camera if you've got a Mac or just the Brio if you've got a regular um, PC and a couple of newer lights. That's the brand that I use. So I will take you now on a screen share. So let's go to that site. All I have to do is type in Google B&H Photo which is right up here in the top. Click on that. Go to their lighting for the lights that I mentioned to you. Now I like the continuous lighting, so I'll click that. And then I'll just take them through all the different choices. So then I'll come out of the lighting section and I'll say, let's just type in webcams to see what they have available. Again, uh, I like what's called the Logitech 4K or Brio. Uh, when you go right to the page, there it is. You can see Brio Ultra HD. You can do the Logitech. There are different choices, but go through that. It's that simple. Just take people to a couple of pages when you're recommending a product or service or an idea. Uh, again, we tend to forget. For some people, this is uh, a bit stressful. They don't know how to use it as effectively as some of us do. Uh, so help them out. And remember, if you're driving people to a page or a website where you can get compensated for a product, you've got to disclose that. Let them know, I'm an affiliate, I might get some money if you make a transaction. If you don't let them know, that's a violation of FTC rules and could get you in some trouble with fines and who needs that, right? So uh, again, these little actions stacked one on top of another can help you tremendously it will create a raving fan audience. And if you don't do these little things and other presenters are, it'll make you look like somebody who doesn't quite care enough about your audience and you'll lose your influence. So go out there, share those pages, help people out. I look forward to seeing you in tip number 26.